Hey everybody, Carol here, and I have a great project for you today. In fact, it's something that you're gonna make sure that you have the supplies in your pantry at all times, because on a rainy day like it is here, um, it's a fun project to bring out. Your kids are gonna absolutely love it. And you know what, your significant others, your friends, they're all gonna be clamoring to try some because it is chocolate covered Oreos. Yes, one of my favorite things is chocolate and covering them with Oreos that are already chocolate with more chocolate, hey, it's even better. But there's one thing about that, it's super messy, or I find it super messy, dipping them and having all that chocolate and it's a fun event to do, but sometimes you just want something quick and easy. And so when I went to the store the other day to look for um, Oreos for this project, look what I found. Fudge covered Oreos. Yes, already done for you. So of course, um, yeah, we had to try them. Sally had to yesterday. She's like, oh, well, let me just go and do a little taste test. And they are fabulous. In fact, so fabulous. We each had to have one. So now rather than 12, down to eight. So it better turn out today. Um, but we had to take the ones that weren't so photogenic and just taste test them. And like I said, they were mighty fine. Now we're going to take these that are already covered and we're going to take a stencil and chocolate. Yes, I got white chocolate. We're going to be using that with the stencil to decorate the tops of these cookies. All right, here I have my trusty melter from Wilton. I love this thing. It is. It just makes melting chocolate so much easier than trying to do it in the stove. That's how most people do it, is with a, um, uh, the double layer where they put the water in the bowl for, in the pan first, and then they put a bowl of chocolate on top and just let the steam from the hot water melt the chocolate. However, if you're like me, I kind of forget about it, and then I come back and maybe some water has dripped off from um, one of my utensils and water is not good for chocolate. They'll make it seize and then you've got something like a hard ball of chocolate, which isn't gonna help you very much for the project that we're doing today. There are ways to get rid of that, so look online. Um, there are some great tips, but we won't cover that today. Um, another way you can melt it is in the microwave, but don't do like my daughter did last year when she was dipping chocolates um, with pretzels in chocolate. She put it in for a minute, the chocolate in the microwave, way too long. You want to do 15, 30 seconds at a time. Keep stirring it up in between because it is melting internally. So even though it doesn't look like it's melting, stir it because it'll start to um, spread out on you. And that way you're not going to um, overcook it. And again, it'll end up as a, a hard rock of chocolate and then you're kind of messed up for what you want to do. So I'm gonna be taking my white chocolate and I'm going to put some pieces in my melter. And there's two settings on this thing. One is melt and the other is warm. So put your chocolate in until it melts. And then while you're decorating, just switch it to the warm part just so it keeps it liquid. So here we're gonna take the back side of the cookie where it's nice and flat. And we're gonna take our melted chocolate and I've let it cool down to where it's just starting to come off of my little scraper. And I'm gonna go like that, get just a tiny bit more and go like that. Make sure you don't move the stencil. And now we're going to carefully peel it up. And see how those edges that were sticking to the stencil as I pulled it off, they round off and give you a nice rounded edge there. So patterns that have bigger openings work best for the chocolate. And that way when, they, when you pull the stencil off and it flows down, it doesn't get rid of the pattern as you can see with this one, see? My chocolate was still too warm 
and it hadn't thickened up enough. So when I spread across it with all that fine detail, once I pulled the stencil off, it just melted into the next opening or just you know flowed right in there. So you do need to make sure, especially if you're gonna be using really delicate patterns, that you wait for your chocolate to be more of a paste consistency. Um, not quite a paste, but, but close to it so that it's not gonna be runny. So there you have another project. Um, it's something that does take practice working with chocolate. If you have trouble with doing the chocolate on top, you can always look up a recipe for a ganache. It's a, a pastier consistency. It's what they use for decorating um, dessert plates. And um, another thing is you could use royal icing. So just mix up a little bit of royal icing. Again, you wanna make sure it's the consistency of a marshmallow fluff, not runny and then spread across the stencil and it'll be absolutely beautiful. So have fun playing around with this one. Just keep the supplies in your pantry and don't eat them all.